Okay. Okay, so All everybody, right. this is Ryan Gutierrez. And we have to apologize because we have some technical difficulties, but I guess we learn how to roll with you. Okay, so everybody, let's give them a good welcome. All right. Uh, what's up, guys? Thank you uh, for, you know, thanks for showing up to class today. I know it's super early, at least for me. Um, so I want to thank you guys for uh, lending me, me your ears for a little bit. Uh, my name is Ryan Gutierrez, better known as, on the internet as Gutex. I am the co-founder of Cross Counter TV, which is an esports startup uh, focusing specifically on fighting games. For those of you guys that aren't too familiar, um, I mean, this is going to sound dumb, but I just want to you know, let you guys know uh, I've never done a talk in front of uh, such smart young people, uh, so please feel free to stop me at any point, ask me questions, make snide comments, it's totally fine, you're not going to uh, hurt my feelings. I want to make sure that you guys walk away with something, anything of value uh, from, from my experience um, in, in gaming and everything. So um, does anybody in here uh, play video games? Please raise your hand if you do. Okay, cool. There's at least a few. All right. Uh, now, have you guys ever played um, mobile games or console games or PC games? What do you What do you guys play? Console. Console. Uh, on uh, what? What do you guys like to play on console? PS4. PS4. Okay. Yeah. What ga What games have you guys been playing recently? Uh, Call of Duty. Black, Black Ops Three. FIFA. FIFA. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Battlefield. Battlefield, awesome. Cool. Oh, and for honor. Okay, awesome. So, I mean, as you guys may or may not have noticed, you know, like gaming is bigger now than it's ever been, and the competitive side of gaming, also known as esports, is an even. Uh, it's it's growing at a very exponential rate. So, competitive gaming refers to. Um, gaming played in tournaments, usually for larger and larger amounts of money. I mean, we're talking anywhere between tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars in prize money. So I'm here to share with you guys today a little bit about the not-so-secret world of competitive gaming. So uh, a little bit about me. This is a, an old photo, but it's really the best one that I had. So whatever. <laughs> it was... Uh, many, many beard moons ago. Um, I was born and raised in Monterey Park. Um, I live over here in downtown. That's why I wanted to come over here and talk with you guys because, you know, you guys are, you know, we all live in the same area. Um, you know, I, I went to Mark Couple High School, which is way deep in the, in the San Gabriel Valley, and I went to Cal Poly Pomona where I studied computer information systems. Um, I, as maybe you guys were when you guys were younger and still are, um, you know, I was an avid gamer. I mean, you know, when, when I was like six or seven years old, back in the um, 20th century, which was, you know, quite some time ago, we were not playing. We didn't have, you know, Call of Duty and uh, For Honor and, and FIFA. We had, you know, Nintendo and Mario Brothers, you know, like the super classics, the, what, what, what people would call retro gaming now. And um, I always had a passion for gaming because, uh, I don't know, I'm an only child and that's, I don't know, that's, that's what was cool. And uh, I guess uh, maybe you guys are still into it, which is good. So I launched uh, my business, which is called Cross Counter TV, in late 2010. As I mentioned, you know, we're, uh, we're focused on esports, but what, what, what we do is we make uh, content, content meaning like videos such as videos for YouTube or live streams on Twitch. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Twitch, it's the kind of like the YouTube of gaming uh, or YouTube of live gaming. Uh, recently sold to Amazon for just shy of one billion dollars. Um, yeah, all right. So um, the next part of, you know, I'm sure you guys have had plenty of speakers, so you guys already know the drill, right? Like first they, the speaker talks a little bit about their background, and then they talk a little bit about what their day-to-day -day is like. Well, my day-to-day -day is a lot different than most people's, right? Because I do a lot of different um, things within gaming, and I wanted to share 
some of um, what I do so that you guys have a better understanding of where the opportunities are, not just in gaming, but also in entertainment. Uh, because a lot of people, when I say I work in gaming, people think, oh, well, there, I, I must be like a developer of some kind. But actually, um, you know, there's plenty of opportunities in gaming that have nothing to do um, with development. Oh. oh, oh well, that was supposed to be a video. Unfortunately, I forgot the flashcard. Anyway, so uh, this is a screenshot of uh, one of our, probably our most successful show. It's called The Excellent Adventures of Gutex and Mike Ross. That's me, I'm Gutex. Uh, that's my co-host and partner in crime, Mike, uh, on the side, and that's our friend, uh, Long Island Joe, in the center. So the concept of the show is very simple. Two guys and a guest sometimes sit on the couch and play a game called Street Fighter Online. Maybe you guys have heard of it, maybe you guys haven't, but it's, uh, it's a fighting game. It's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game where you're supposed to beat up the other guy. So this is going to sound crazy, but people have been watching us sit on the couch this black couch and playing Street Fighter online and making jokes and you know generally just having a good time with the game and we've been oh thank you so much I'm dying up here <laughs> um, we've uh, over the past mm, all right so you know it's 2017 now we started in late 2010 um, we have amassed about 160,000 subscribers on YouTube which is not very much compared to, you know, the PewDiePie's and the, um, I don't know, I don't know what other big channels are because I don't even watch YouTube. But uh, for us, this is pretty substantial and it's allowed us to create a living and a business based on doing what we love, which is sharing our passion for this little game called Street Fighter um, with, with the internet. Uh, we've put out over a thousand videos on our on our channel over the past uh, six plus years and uh, this is just kind of um, kind of the beginning so um, I I have a trailer if you guys maybe wanted to see a quick trailer um, that way you guys kind of get an, uh, an idea of what the show is like um, so I'll just if this works this will be crazy um, all right, maybe this will just load and then maybe. I might have to put in a password. Oh, oh, it worked. Okay, but do we have audio? That's the. Oh, here we go. The audio is turned off. All right, so. Um, okay, hopefully. If, you, if this gets. I mean, it's only like a few minutes. If it gets super boring, just let me know. But I just wanted to, you know. Just wanted to. Um... That was a tank. Please meet this guy, Mike. Please. Oh come on, come on, Mike. Oh no, it's coming. Wow, wow. Light, uh, light work. Easy. We got two Mike Rosses today, guys. So, <laughs> so I don't even excuse need to talk, guys. I don't even oh. need to talk, guys. <laughs> So our, our guest was uh, a guy, Bobby Starr, who's really big in the uh, Smash Brothers community. Okay. And this is a trailer for one of our most popular episodes. So the balls on this man. Let's go. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Let's go. So, I mean, as you guys, you know, whatever, you, you get the idea. Two guys sit on the couch playing Street Fighter, and sometimes we have a guest. And somehow, through the magic of consistency and the internet, we are able to turn this into a business, and this is all of our full-time incomes now. Um, so, because of the way that we shoot the show, um, we release every Sunday on YouTube, but we only have to shoot essentially once a month, because we'll shoot like a two hour block and then put it out on, on YouTube uh, every Sunday. 
Um, so that, that means that if we're shooting once or, once or twice a month, well, what do I do with the rest of my time? Well, sometimes um, I will get uh, the opportunity to travel and do hosting and commentary work at different events, usually um, tournaments. Sometimes they're here in America, sometimes they're international. So this photo is uh, me and my co-host Mike and our friend Peter, who now works for Capcom that makes Street Fighter. And uh, this was when we were invited to the Capcom Cup 2015 World Finals, which was essentially the culmination of a season-long uh, tournament series that brought the, the 32 strongest players on the planet to compete um, for big, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of prize money. Um, so we were invited to be the analysts on the, uh, on the desk, which is essentially like a, uh, it's kind of like the halftime show before like the grand final started. Um, and then uh, in the top right, you can't really see it, but that's, um, that's from the EVO World Finals, which were held in Las Vegas every year. This was the first year that it grew from outside of a hotel ballroom into the Mandalay, event, uh, Mandalay Bay Event Center, which is where you would see like big UFC fights or big boxing matches. So really, esports and, and gaming and Street Fighter in particular have grown to the level where we are now selling out the Mandalay Bay Event Center. So I was, uh, uh, my, my partner Mike was one of the commentators and I was the, uh, the, 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 uh, the interviewer. So I'm interviewing the guy in the middle who is the world champion and this was broadcast on ESPN this year. So, um, you know, then there'll be events in Singapore. So right here, uh, you can't really see it, but uh, that's an event in uh, Southeast Asia majors in 2016 in Singapore. So Mike and I were invited out there to do commentary. So, you know, it's, there's a lot of uh, travel and a lot of it has become international travel uh, for us, which is great because um, when I was younger, I didn't really understand the value of travel. But now, as you know, being older, I understand that what we learn in the classroom is really just like part of becoming like an educated cultured human. And when you travel internationally, you get to, not only have I made great friends and had amazing experiences, but I learn a lot about cultures and different ways of thinking about the world. Uh, and then finally, uh, every now, <laughs> this was kind of a weird one, uh, but we were invited to the White House. Yes, that White House uh, in December for a, uh, it was like a promotion with the White House for um, healthcare. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Obamacare, but essentially they invited us and some other uh, gaming people to the White House to talk about, to basically get people, young people signed up for healthcare. So um, that's kind of like where some of the, uh, the travel uh, comes from. So. Um, that's how some of the days are, right? Uh, so some days I'm shooting, you know, some days I'm shooting excellent adventures, and some days I'm traveling to uh, talk in front of thousands and thousands of people. Um, and then uh, other days are a little bit different. So I'm I'm like a uh, semi-retired pro gamer, right? I've been competing. I, I started competing when I in 2003 when I was in college, so some of my days are focused on training. Not just myself, but training other people. Um, because as you guys can imagine, there's a lot of, as there becomes more and more opportunities in esports and more and more money to be made in tournaments, there's people like yourselves and people you know, in college and even you know, adults with you know, full-time jobs and stuff that are trying to get better at the game. So what we also provide is one-on-one -on -one coaching services over online, over Skype. I guess in education you would call it like distance learning, right? Like I don't know if you guys have ever um, done like an online class or anything like that, but we train people one-on-one -on -one over Skype and essentially save them hours, days, weeks, months of frustration because as you can imagine, you know, when you talk with an expert on something that you're trying to get better at, um, they can tell you something that clicks and then all of a sudden, boom, you are saved, you know, so much time and frustration. 
So we offer, I won't call it a shortcut, it's just more of like a fast track, kind of like probably what you guys are doing here. Um, other, other days will be like me creating video tutorials for Instagram or, or YouTube where I'm trying to provide the resources that I didn't have when I was trying to get better at the game because believe it or not, there was a time before YouTube, really before Facebook and the internet where like it was actually kind of hard to find information about you know stuff that you were into. So we, in addition to you know doing stuff like putting out shows like Excellent Adventures, we want to provide the resources for newer players, people that are trying to get better at the game, to you know to get into it, so that they can either go off and let's say compete in tournaments, or maybe they're just trying to play online and get better, or maybe they're just trying to beat their friends because you know, or their brother or their cousin or whatever, you know, like that's what gaming is all about, right? Playing with your friends and having a good time. But you can't really do that because in, in fighting games sometimes because the learning curve is quite steep. So we provide a shortcut. And then sometimes uh, I'll be doing um, live training streams, uh, like for example on Twitch, to prepare for upcoming turn-ins. Because every now and then, uh, an opportunity like this will come down the way. You can't really see it, but it says, congratulations, you are invited to compete in the E-League Street Fighter V Invitational on March 27th. And then down right here it says in Atlanta, Georgia for $250,000. So last week I got invited to compete in E-League, which is a show that's gonna be broadcast on TBS uh, at the end, you know, March 27th or at the end of next month. And it's gonna run for eight or 12 weeks or whatever. So last year they did, um, Counter-Strike, uh, they, they did uh, Counter-Strike, but this year they're gonna do Street Fighter. So I'm one of the 32 players that's invited to compete. So uh, as you can imagine, being split between doing hosting and commentary at different events worldwide, as well as you know doing YouTube, as well as um, you know trying to make sure that all the pieces run together, such as production and editing and all this stuff, now I gotta get back in shape so I don't look like a fool when I'm up there trying to compete with guys that are much younger than myself. Guys that are either, you know, the, the youngest guy in there I think is 18. So this kid is, and I just, <laughs> I went to go train with him the other night. And this kid is uh, from Philly, he's 18. He just graduated and he's arguably the best right now. So I gotta, I gotta shake the rust off. I gotta put myself out there so that I can represent you know, my company, my show, my brand, myself, my community, and hopefully make a strong showing. So that's, uh, that's like how other days go, let's say. So, um, so, okay, the original plan, the original plan was to show you guys how to do a live stream yourself. Now you might think, all right, well, Maybe what like why would you even do that? Like, have, have any of you guys ever either watched a live stream either on YouTube or Twitch or Facebook or have seen somebody do? Yeah. Okay. What have you watched a live stream of, Chris? A YouTuber called Midland. Called what? A YouTuber called Midland. What is what does he do? Oh, he's he's play games. Plays games. He plays H Z one. H Z one. Cool. So you so you watch gaming streams and stuff. Well, I wanted the original plan was to to show you guys how to set up your own live stream, not necessarily for gaming, but for anything that you're. That is a Windows. Okay. Cool. So you can show them how to do it. I don't know if you want some volunteers, maybe. Uh. Because I am a Windows. I'm not. I'm at a PC. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. The original plan was to basically have you guys set up your own live streams, um, but we could probably just um, do it on this computer if you guys were uh, if you guys were open to it. Um, I maybe there's um, somebody that wanted to to volunteer, and I'll just walk. I'll just I'll just walk you guys through the process because you guys might be thinking like, oh well, whatever. Like I don't play games or I don't stream. Like why would I even do that? But just because. 
personally, I use ga uh, streaming for gaming doesn't mean that streaming doesn't have a lot of other uses in other forms of entertainment and all kinds of uses. Like for example, um, music, right? Like uh, the Coachella Music Festival, which is going on uh, next month, right? They've been streaming. They've been streaming the music festival for, I don't know, eight years now. So now we've seen a lot of growth in music because uh, people see what, what's being done in gaming and they're like, hey, wait a minute, like, you know, people would love to watch whatever, like Lady Gaga or Beyonce or whatever live, but not everybody can go to Coachella. Not everybody can go see, can go to the event because, you know, they don't live there. So why not just broadcast this live so that everybody can see it? Or maybe you might say, all right, well, whatever, that's cool. Well, I don't play music either. Well, there's a lot of artists out there that stream themselves working on their art, whether it was digital art or, you know, analog art. You know, essentially, all you have to do, all you have to do is take any laptop, even a laptop like this one that may not be um, super brand new, but a lot of people think that you, may, you might need, like, really primo hardware to do this, but it's actually really easy. So if you guys are open to it, I'll just kind of walk... Uh, I'll just kind of walk you guys through the process. If maybe if maybe one of you guys wanted to volunteer, otherwise I'll just show you. It's fine. It's okay, dude. It's, su it's, su it's super super easy. Um, and you know this could be useful for a uh, this could be useful for collaboration of any kind. Okay. Oh, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll just use the browser. Okay, so, Chris. Uh, so we're going to use the software called XSplit. So just go to XSplit.com. XSplit.com. Wait, what? XSPL. XS. Yeah, XS, sorry. PL? Yeah, XSPLIT.com. Okay, so uh, XSplit is kind of like the standard right now when it comes to software-based live streaming. So all we got to do is download the XSplit broadcaster on the left. <coughs> and then, yeah, just click the, uh, the download button. And then, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, there you go. So if everything goes according to plan, we are going to have a live stream in just a few moments. Uh, oh, I need to put in the password. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, live streaming, once you, once you guys see how easy it is, it might trigger some ideas. You know, maybe you're like, oh, sure. What, like, what do you talk about? Though? What do you talk about? I need a whole live stream. I know most of them are going to two hours. I need a whole process. Ah, that's a great question. Like, what do I talk about personally, or what would, or what would you talk about in general? Um, great question. That's a great question. So, ah, it's a great question. So, for me personally, um, is it is it downloading? Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Or was it, uh, or was it running? This is running. I don't know if they're clicking. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, click right there. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, and then just hit okay, and then just install it. Okay, so what do you talk about when you're live streaming? That's a great question. So when you're first starting out, it really doesn't matter what you talk about because nobody's going to be watching. Lots of times when people are streaming uh, games, for example, like on Twitch, there will be a chat room where the people that are watching will be chatting, you know, with you. So people will ask questions, people will, you know, people, <laughs> sometimes you'll get haters that are, you know, saying really mean things to you anonymously over the internet. Um, but essentially what I'm doing when I'm streaming is I'm trying to talk about the game and either trying to train myself or trying to train the people that are watching and trying to help them with their game. But what you'll find is that the more that you do it, the
the better you get at communicating and talking effectively. So it might seem like, oh, well, like I gotta, yeah, just keep, just click next and, and install it in the, the default. So what you'll find is that over time you get better at talking and you'll kind of find a groove where you have like kind of like a continuous, you know, stream of consciousness that uh, you're communicating to the audience. And uh, so, you, so between the chat room and, what you, and the activity that you were doing on stream, you could probably do it for hours, but there's no, there's no real like time limit and there's no like minimum. You could stream for like five minutes, you could stream for five hours. It doesn't really, um, doesn't really matter. Oh. Okay, cool, all right, let's go. Um, but yeah, that's a good question. I mean, you know, for, for some people, it, it just, they're just streaming themselves working on like a particular project. You know, maybe you were like an artist or maybe you were working on, you know, some sort of coding project or maybe you're just sitting there playing games. Um, but there's so many people out there that are really just hungry for entertainment, just hungry for something to watch, right? Like, <coughs> I don't know about you guys, but it's to the point where I don't I don't watch TV. I'm just watching I'm watching Netflix or YouTube or Hulu or Twitch or something because like what is there on what is there even to watch on TV? So streaming is kind of like this new genre of entertainment, let's say that simply just didn't even exist um, not too long ago because it was just too difficult and the technology wasn't there. I mean, I can think about it in terms of like uh, education, right? You know, let's say um, you guys were, you know, you, you guys had like a, a group of friends that you study with for different classes. You can definitely set up a live stream and broadcast to a secret Facebook group. And that's something that we've worked on. Yeah, just click, uh, install. yep, just hit install. <laughs> That's something that we've done with, uh, with a video course that we launched last year, where instead of streaming on Twitch to, let's say, hundreds of people that were watching for free, we streamed it to a secret Facebook group that only had students, essentially paid students. Um, and you know, so we had maybe like 15 people watching. But that's fine, because this was like a very personalized, secret, private stream where they could um, you know, give, uh, ask questions and get real-time feedback from uh, myself and the other instructors, yeah, and then just go ahead and click uh, finish. Okay, so once this opens, ah, okay, so it's going to, um, it's probably going to ask us to, oh, okay, there we go. Thanks for installing XSplit. All right, cool, that was easy. Um, now, we can just, okay, cool, all right. So now XSplit is, is going to open, and then I'll show you guys quickly like how it works, because the power of XSplit is that you can use multiple, um, camera angles and integrate stuff like screen sharing. Okay, so go ahead and, yeah, go ahead, just put in your name and your email and then make a password because you need a, an XSplit account to, to use it. Which sounds like a pain, but once you have an account, it's like super easy. So there's, um, the software is free. There's a paid version, of course, because that's the model of software <laughs> nowadays. Um, <laughs> but essentially, anybody with an email address can get started. Website just like on live stream, like games, or no? You could use you could use XSplit for anything. So uh, you could uh, you could use XSplit definitely to stream games, but it's n it doesn't have to be games. It could just simply be the la uh, the camera that's built into the laptop, or it could be uh, an external uh, webcam that you plugged in, or it could just be. Um, you know, like screen sharing your desktop. Let's say that you were, um, I mean, I don't know, do you do anything like, um, 
technical or artistic or do you do any writing or I don't know what do you what do you what do you do you know when you're not in school like what do you do for fun? Nothing. <laughs> no, no, no. Sports. Okay, yeah, cool. So like, what what sports do you play? Baseball. When you play baseball, um, what position do you play? I just play baseball when I was a kid. So I'm asking. You just bat. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So like, do you ever watch? Um, do you, do you ever like take videos on your phone of yourself when you're hitting? Huh? Yeah, because <laughs> well, I mean, you, I mean, you could, right? Because like, when you're trying to work on your your swing, like, it's useful to have that video so you can see, like, all right, well, yeah, exactly. So like, one thing that you could do, right? Like, if you were trying to, connect, I mean, you, baseball is a team sport, right? So I'm assuming you play with other people, right? So for for you, maybe you could take the videos of yourself batting and then stream those and then kind of like play them back and then talk about it and be like, okay, see like, I'm, you see right here when I'm setting up with the bat, you see how I bend my legs and then I step into the ball as I'm, as I'm hitting and that, so that you could help somebody. I mean, you know, like there's, there's a lot of little, there's a lot of kids that play baseball too, right? Like, you know, I mean, how, how old are you? You're like, you're how old? 16. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, you could easily help like a younger kid that was like 10 or 11 with his swing because you've been playing baseball for far longer. So somebody that was like a younger baseball player could definitely watch you and be, watch you stream your videos that you recorded on your phone. And you know, you could have kids all over that could be like, wow, like Barboza, like dude, this guy is, I'm learning so much, you know, and that's, the real value of streaming. It's not, it's not, it's not always about, it's not all about gaming. It's not all about music. It's about sharing um, what you know with other people who are also interested in the same thing. Because that's the beauty of the internet, right? We're able to connect with so many people of varied interests all over the world that we would probably never meet in person, but it doesn't matter. So, All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, so since we just have the free version, it's going to try to upsell us on, on, on a premium license. But we, uh, we don't need any of that, so we just, uh, just click on continue. And then this will essentially just... Will there be real people watching this? Or? Oh, not yet, not yet. <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting there, though. Oh, we're getting crap. there. Okay, so... Uh, as you can see, so this this big section right here is is what the audience will see, and then the buttons on the bottom right that say scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, these are essentially the um, the different mm, like cameras or angles that uh, that that you can set up. So what we're going to do is first we're going to okay, so uh, click on add at the at the bottom left. This one? Oh, no, 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 uh, right there, oh. yeah. So in the add menu, we can uh, add different what's called sources. So uh, the first thing, the first source we're gonna add is go to webcam, and then we're going to uh, use, yeah, HP HD webcam. So that's just the built-in webcam in the laptop. It might, yeah. It might, uh, it might take a moment. <laughs> right, hey, come. Or let's see what happened. Uh, gosh, that's really weird. Um. <laughs> no, Chris, it's not going to be that easy. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Well, take my word for it. Like that's ex that's essentially where the the view of the camera would go. So, what we can do then is set up the uh, our second scene. So go ahead and click on scene two. Oh, oh, there it was. Wait, go back, go back, go back. Go back to scene one. Oh, okay, oh, okay, all right. 
Okay, I didn't want you guys to think I was totally lying to you about the webcam thing. Okay, so now this is just like the, the small little. Um, uh, yeah, so what we're going we're gonna to do is just click on the edge and then drag it and then expand it to fill the, uh, the whole window. Yep, there you go. Yeah, all the way. Yeah, all the way. Yeah, all the way. yeah. and then uh, right click. Yeah, right, right click it. And then, you know, it looks kind of choppy, right? Like, we don't want people to think that, like, we don't know what we're doing, right? So uh, go to configure and then video output. And then here's where we're going to set the resolution. And because you, you can see right there, it says frame rate 10. So we're going to click on output size and then go down to like 640 by 480 or something. Yeah, right there. Yeah, and then that should speed up. Okay, so now it says the frame rate is 30. So now it'll actually look like watchable video, right? So just click OK. And so now if you uh, move the mouse a little bit or click on the, click on the, the camera, or click on the, the view. So now you can see it's actually a little bit. Uh, uh, no, we're uh, we're, not, we're nobody's watching yet because we're just doing the setup. Once we have everything set up, then we're gonna go live. Oh, we're not live yet. No, not yet. supposed to follow you or like just go live when people start watching. We're uh, yeah. Uh, so essentially, we're gonna we're gonna go live on on Facebook. But if that's it, we're to go like live on your account, like for a lot of people watch. Uh, we could try if I can remember the password <laughs> to log in on Twitch. But yeah, we could. If it, it, okay, we'll try it. Yeah. We'll try it. I was gonna I, I, I was gonna show you guys how to basically uh, to, to go live on Facebook because yeah. I figure you guys all have Facebook accounts. But if you guys prefer, we can go live on my channel, and maybe we'll have a few people watching if I can remember the login info. <laughs> um, at the beginning, when you first start out, you're probably not going to have anybody watching, right? Like, <laughs> One viewer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're going to have like single digit viewers, you know, right? You go live on Facebook, you post, say, hey guys, I'm watching baseball, I'm, I'm watching uh, videos of, you know, my, my swing, you know, anybody want to watch? And then you're going to be like, you know, you're going to get like one like. <laughs> but the second time you do it, Maybe you get like five people watching. And now people are like, oh, well, every time Barboza streams his, his uh, batting sessions, I'm going to watch because I'm, I need to, you know, I'm, I'm playing for whatever, sure, high school, and, uh, you know, I got to step up my swing. Um, OK, so that's uh, scene one. OK, so now let's go to scene two, and then uh, in scene two, we're going to essentially just screen cap the uh, the desktop. So go to so go to add the add menu, and then click on screen capture, and then just click anywhere. So oh, I'm sniping, huh? Yeah. Okay, and then just click and then drag and uh, make the make it bigger. So now with scene two, this is just like whatever we're seeing on the desktop. So scene one is the camera, scene two is the desktop. Okay, so now we're gonna try to actually go live. So to go live, we go to output, click on output, and then uh, click on set up a new output. Okay, so you guys wanted to go to live on my channel, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so Twitch. go to Twitch. Okay, so like if you guys aren't familiar with, and then click on authorize. If you guys aren't familiar, oh. I mean, Miss can. Miss. Ah, we. Is oh. it? Can't go through that. Sorry, what are you trying to get into? Twitch. Twitch? We're Twitch? trying to. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get through. Uh, if the administrator thing came up, I would be able to get through. Okay. So well, that's too bad. Now I'm sitting it up. That's okay. Okay. Oh, well, bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Okay, Chris. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris, so much for your help. Okay. So, since we can't go live on Twitch, maybe we could go live on YouTube, maybe? We might be able to pull that before, right? Yeah. I mean... We have, okay, so we have a larger following on 
A large, yeah, sure. What's the little like um, council you ever do? Oh, this? Oh, this is just, um, this is, uh, it's called a Zoom, and it's a uh, audio recorder. So, uh, you know, like I mentioned, like I've never done a talk um, for smart young people like yourselves, so I figured if it didn't totally suck, it might, good, it might be good to like have a recording so that way later I could listen back and uh, make it a little bit better or better yet, probably upload it so that other people might, um, might benefit. Uh, so basically, like this allows us, this is what we use when we shoot um, Excellent Adventures, so it allows us to connect uh, up to four different microphones, so that way uh, our audio, you know, if we have like, if, if it's me and my co-host Mike and two guests, then you can hear everybody really clearly. I mean, this was like, uh, this is like $300, and then the mics are like 600 each, so we have like, I mean, we have like a significant amount invested in hardware, but it's really paid off because our show looks like it's super professional, and that's uh, you know that's what we're going for. Quality. Exactly, quality above all else. So, Wait, I have a question. yes. So, how do you get paid off? Of, how do you get paid off of the live stream? That's a great question. So, um. Hold on, hold on one second. Let me just put this in. Okay, so the question was, how do you get paid off of a live stream on YouTube? Great question. Uh, there's a couple different ways that you can get paid. The first and most straightforward way is through uh, advertising. So I'm sure you guys have seen a YouTube video or two uh, with an ad that plays before or in the middle of the video. So some of this ad revenue goes to YouTube and some of this ad revenue goes to the, uh, to the streamer. So when you're doing live streams, whether it's on YouTube or on Twitch, uh, it kind of works similarly, where you can run an ad in your stream and that essentially gets, uh, gets um, gets you paid relative to the amount of people that are watching the video at any given point. So if you're somebody that is really, really, really popular, you're probably going to make a nice chunk of change through ad revenue. Um, but there are other ways to make money through live streaming, such as by having uh, sponsors. Can you give an estimated amount of how much they make? Like uh, that's a great question. So, Based on like 500,000 views. 500, so, so generally when it comes to live streaming in particular, if we're talking about 500,000 people watching at the same time, yeah. I would say that that, if you were to run one, one ad like that, that would be like thousands of dollars, easily, yeah. easily. But if, but if you were talking about a YouTube video that had 500,000 views that wasn't live, that was like, you know, recorded. something that somebody made, that yeah, that was recorded video on demand, I would say that 500, it, it, there's a couple different factors such as the subject of the video. For example, if you were, if you had 500,000 videos on a fitness or a workout video, that might be more valuable mm -hmm. to advertisers than uh, maybe a less popular topic like basket weaving or something. Maybe there's more, maybe there's not a lot of advertisers out there that are trying to like sell you basket weaving stuff as there are trying to sell you fitness products. Mm -hmm. So it depends on like the, the it depends on the content itself. Uh, so I'm just going to okay. We're gonna <laughs> all right. We're just gonna try it. They're gonna be people are gonna open up the channel and they're probably gonna wonder what's going on. <laughs> And uh, the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to set our audio settings and make sure that the, uh, okay, yeah, cool. So our, we may or may not have audio. Okay. And this may or may not, well, whatever. I mean, most laptops have like a, okay, cool, yeah. All right, it's coming in. Most laptops have a built-in uh, microphone, so you don't need to worry about 
any of that. All right, so it looks like we're probably good to go. And all we have to do is click this button and then I'm just going to try to change this one more. Ah, oh, I can't change it. Okay, all right, cool. We're just going to try to go live. And then, oh, here we go. All right. Oh, Mendez High School. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're just going to set we're just going to set the title to live at Mendez High School. Um Utex <laughs> talking to the kids. All right, and then for privacy, we're gonna set it to public, and then we're just gonna <laughs> click on. Good morning, Mendez Staff and Kids. That's totally my car. <laughs> totally my car. Uh, okay, so. Are we live now? We're live now. So. Um, oh, we're live. Hmm? We're actually live. Uh, we're live. Now. Yeah. <laughs> So we are, we are. No kettle Yeah, he's on this way. Yeah. Oh, we'll let Friday ask the bell. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. First, we're. get more announcements about Okay, cool. Well, we're about to wrap up. I'm just, I just want to um, show you guys real quick what it looks like on the uh, on the channel. Okay, cool. So, so it says uh, live, 80 people watching. So, uh, good when... morning, Jaguars. Congratulations to Coach Caswell Arellano and her boys' soccer team on a thrilling two-to-one victory over Rosita in the semifinals. Oh, <laughs> We got about 133 people uh, watching right now. Uh, for those of you guys that are watching uh, online, uh, I'm just giving a talk at this uh, high school right now. These are all the um, these are all the smart kids, the future of, uh, of the community, of the country, and everything. And uh, I'm just kind of sharing with them a little bit of uh, what we do at Cross Counter. Uh, so yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, so, yeah, so we got, you know, we got, we got a few people watching for, for, for instantly, instantly going live. So, so, I mean, as you can see, you know, like the, the chat room, you don't know what they're going to say. You know, you have to get used to people, you know, have to, you got to get used to people like being rude or, or, or obnoxious or sometimes, you know, they'll be, they'll be nice and they'll tell you that what you're doing is cool. Okay. Um, so yeah. All right. So, hey, thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Oh, now, right? Yeah. All right. Go up to the front. Oh, you know the drill. Still live, though. Yeah, we're, we're uh, yeah we're still live. All right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's gather up and then we'll uh, take this picture and then we'll say goodbye to everybody on the uh, on the internet. Right up at the front. There it is. Oh, would you, would, would you guys? What <laughs> oh, to say in the commentary? What are you going to say in the commentary? Distract them. Also the white dog. Okay, all right, here. I'll, I'll be in. I'll be right Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, and I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. I wonder what the same All right, chat so now, <laughs> here we go. Friendly reminder to all the staff that today is the first full space enterprise. You have until the end of the year to place your orders, and there are a lot of vegetarians. I'm sorry, man, I got too happy we're live. Okay, <laughs> we're going to be famous. Here. Very good. Okay, so now, please. Please. your orders to Ms. Rouse. Well, oh, thank you. All right, very good. Thank you all right. so much, Ryan. Oh, no problem. No, Thank you. What, what the commentary one? says. Oh, uh, they probably Ch say that. He's the next. <laughs> what is it? In the beanie, almost 40? <laughs> what? Wait, what he says? The beanie, almost at least 40. <laughs> no way. <man. laughs> no, I already looked that old. No way. You already looked 40? Just you what you're doing. Dude with the beanie, at least 40. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Oh, I get a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> 